Yo, what's up? Hey, Willie, how's it going? What's up, Tony? How you doing, man? Good, good. I was wondering, are you still embroidering? Yep, I'm still embroidering. Why? What's up? Awesome. I actually have a family reunion coming up at Disney World, and I'm looking to have some hoodies embroidered uh, for the kids. Okay. Uh, when do you need them for? Well, I was hoping to get them done by the end of the week, if you could. I know it's last minute, but we're actually heading out on Friday, so I would probably need them that morning. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have the hoodies, or you need me to get them for you? Yeah, I got the hoodies. I can actually over an item tonight. Okay, that sounds good. All right, do something. Uh, send me the design and uh, the location of where you want the designs and all that kind of stuff so that I can start working on it today. By that time, you know, the, the garment gets here, I can already start, you know, directly embroidering and all that. Let me ask you something. Do you have an extra hoodie or something that I can run a test on? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an extra one. Okay, no, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll make something up. Cool, yeah, let's just do that. Send me over the designs with all the locations and all that, and I'll take care of it. Awesome, thank you, Willie. Cool, brother. Take it easy, man. All right, thanks, bye. All right, bye. So as you guys heard, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do when you get an order like this that's so specific, we have a certain amount of garments and we can't really run a test on them. So I'm gonna show you from receiving the order to getting it digitized, tested, and shipped back to the customer. Now we are in a time frame, so we gotta do this as soon as possible. I'm gonna start testing today. Once I get that sorted out, we're gonna go to the next phase, which is gonna be getting embroidered on the actual garment. So this way you guys get to see what it takes when you get an order like this one. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get started. All right, so I just opened up the email and just to give you a quick summary of what I'm saying here, the design is four Lego faces on the left chest and under that, we're gonna have the initials. In the back of each sweater, we're gonna be having the uh, reunion, which is what he wants to put reunion uh, with the number 2020. So all of this needs to be done before Friday because we need to overnight it so it can get there by Friday morning. Okay, hey, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. So since I'm not very familiar with uh, kid size, I'm pretty much just digitizing it to like around a 2.5 to 3 to 4 inches around that area and either way it doesn't really make a big difference because afterwards I'm going to be adjusting the size so the software will automatically redigitize those stitches now some of these details I will have to uh, alter them because they're just too small you won't notice and then too much stitches and on top of stitches and very small it's not gonna look very clean. It's gonna look like everything is everywhere and even if you look at it as close as possible, you're still going to see that some parts are not gonna be that noticeable. So might as well just take them off and just by far, you, you're, you know what it is. All right, so the first version of the digitizing is completed. Obviously, I don't know exactly the size because I haven't gotten the, uh, the hoodies yet, but I'm expecting it to be from 2.5 all the way up to four inches, depending on the size as well. So let's go ahead and uh, run the first test, come on. Like how it looks. One eternity later. Woo. All right, guys, so it's 9 a.m. here in sunny Miami, and um, we're gonna go ahead and see how the design ended up uh, coming out yesterday. And um, also, we're gonna check if we got the hoodies. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Mm, okay. So it doesn't look that bad. Definitely see I have to work on this for sure. There's some things here that I don't like on the hairline. I see a gap there. 
Uh, one of the eyes, you can tell that the, the sense of threads are going a certain way. Um, you don't want to have the satin stitch doing the same thing, so it kind of uh, didn't, didn't really show as much as I wanted to, so I'm gonna have to fix that angle. All right, well, let's go check on the hoodie, see if they arrived. Uh, hopefully they did, so this way we know the exact size. If they didn't, then we have more time to work on this. Let's go. So we have uh, an order coming in later on today, uh, most likely before 10 or uh, maybe a couple minutes after 10, I think. Uh, but as soon as it gets here, it's under my name. If you can let me know, I have to come down and pick it up. You give me a call. You the man? Thank you. Let's go. So we're gonna fix some of these issues now that we have the time. Meanwhile, uh, the hoodies arrive. So let's do that now. So the first thing I have to do is make sure I overlap this hair here because if not, that gap will show, even if I put stabilizer, it will definitely show on the hoodie. And I don't want that, so let me do that first. I'm also going to fix the angle on the left eye because uh, the tatami stitches that are on the bottom, uh, they don't let that eye stand out like a ball. So I, I needed to change the angle so it could actually look like a circle. All right, so I made the changes that I had to make. Now we're just gonna put it back in the machine, run another test and see how it comes out. All right, so now the machine is running, let us do its thing and let me go get my morning coffee. I'll be back. All right, so it looks a whole lot better. I like how the hair came out. I'm actually planning on doing the same thing now to this guy here. And the eye now actually looks a whole lot better. I'm gonna be putting them next to each other so you guys can see the difference. Uh, I do have to make a couple of changes. For example, since I uh, put this kind of stitch in, which is a satin stitch, now the garment is pulling against each other a little more. So I'm gonna have to bring the red, which is the tongue, I'm gonna have to bring it a little bit higher. And I see there was a gap that was left here. That gap is because of where it starts and where it ends. So it starts and ends in the same area. That's why it has a gap. So I'm gonna start it over on the right uh, and end it on the left or uh, the other way around. Uh, other than that, I'll do the same thing to this one here and that's it. That's all we need to do. All right, so as you can see, when we put them next to each other, you can tell it's a huge difference. I love the way this one looks. That satin stitch just makes it look really rich. I like it. So I'm gonna stick with that satin stitch. I'm gonna implement it with the guy as well, uh, with the guy with the brown hair. Um, I don't think I can do it to the guy with the orange hair because um, it's supposed to look like a crazy hair. So if I do that, it's just gonna make it look nice and neat. So I'm gonna leave it as, as is. Three K. Perfect, let's go. Thank you, brother. All right, bye. Let's go. We got the, uh, the hoodies in. Let's go. Approximately 10 hours later. So I'm digitizing the Reunion 2020 and it's gonna be the same size for all of them. So it's gonna be pretty simple. I think we're ready to roll. Yeah, it's not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it at six inches on, on the width and I'm gonna print that out, bring it in here, cut the paper and kind of visualize it, how it's gonna look exactly before I do my last test. If I was running my own embroidery shop, I would first ask for the details and make sure that I have enough time to complete this order because if not, I'll, I don't want to promise the customer something I won't be able to do and then that will get me into a bind. So the second part of this is that I need to be extremely organized. I need to make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing at all, all times. So before I hoop anything, I'm going to make sure that I have the hoodie 
that I need with the size and know the location where I have to hoop it. Now, if you ever get a project like this, I recommend that you download our contract template that is going to be in the description below and have your customer sign this before you start embroidering. This way, this will protect you if there's any issues in the future. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to go. Let's get started. I don't have the whole set for this. I only have enough for like maybe one size of hoop, but I'm using a different size that won't fit on this. So what I did, I made some adjustments. I took some things out and at least it's going to help me, right? I'll get the top piece. Locks in. There we go. So I'm using the two head for the design in the back of the hoodie. Since it's the same design, I don't have to go back and change anything. So it just makes my job a lot easier and it goes out quicker. For the design in the front, I'm using the single head because the initials in the front change. So it just makes my job easier. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hey, so far so good. Uh, I'm still on my toes because any, any little thing that messes up in here, I'm not gonna have time to come back and fix it. So I'm just looking at it right now just to see if, you know, maybe I have to stop and do something. But no, I don't have to look at it the whole time. I have to make sure at least the first one that it goes good. Once I see the first one at least halfway, I know it's good to go. All right, so in total, I'm going to have four runs on the dual head and then seven runs on the single head. Now I'm just waiting for those two to finish so I can throw one in the single head and start hooping for the next set of hoodies. Now I could have already started embroidering on the left chest with the single head, but since this is so important, I want to make sure I watch this the whole way through, okay? So it looks like we're done. Let's go ahead and get them off and get a hoop for the single head and then get the other two set of hoodies hooped on here. Woo! Nice. All right. And you see this gap here? That's okay. These little things right here, the hold it in place is not gonna move that much. So I want to get it just a little bit closer to the center chest. Usually you don't have a logo towards your armpit. Instead you have it a little bit closer to your chest. But you want to get kind of like that middle range. Okay, so now we have the second round for the dual head. I'm gonna press start. I don't have to trace. I don't have to do anything else anymore because the hooping is the same. And obviously I haven't moved the design, so we're in the middle. But let's go ahead and press start. All right, so meanwhile, all of that's going on. I'm gonna start cleaning up this hoodie. This is the first one completed. Now I'll have to clean that one up and put it in that box. But meanwhile, let me go on to this one. Nice. The second one. So my priority right now is to maintain that single head running I don't want to have it stop because remember the other one is a two head. So that one will get these out sooner than the single head. So I'm trying to keep maintain this one running first. All right, so this is the last one of this size. So I shut off one head so that this one could continue running while the single head is also running. I'm gonna clean this one up. Meanwhile, they're running.
So I really take a lot of pride in the cleanup part of uh, the job, right? Just because if you don't clean it up as good as, you know, they're gonna take it off one day and they're gonna wash it, so. All right, so this is the last one that's completed. Enrique, overnight, please. We need to overnight this as soon as possible, if you can, uh, today, so that they can have it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You're the man. Thank you. We did it. All right, guys, so we were able to get it done on time, clean everything up, fold it, bring it, put it inside the box, and bring it outside so it can get shipped out overnight. Now, I'm only gonna ask for one thing from you guys, and that is if you can write down in the comments below of a project you guys want me to take on or anything that has to do with embroidery that you want me to do in future episodes. I'll be happy to do so. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.